Hi everyone, Marco is here, the author of Terrain Mixer for Blender. If you have used this tool before, then you know that it's probably the fastest way of generating terrains inside of Blender. Uh, before we continue, I want to show you something uh, because uh, many, many people get confused uh, when they download all the content, uh, what goes where and uh, Sometimes it happens that they don't see the terrain in the viewport and whatnot. So uh, before you start using the terrain mixer, uh, I suggest that you open the folder that you have downloaded, go to this important PNG image, uh, which says put the maps folder and the sky texture folder inside the terrain mixer current version folder. So we're now inside the terrain mixer current version folder. Uh, if you download it today, it will say version 1.9, not 1.7, because this is the old image. And uh, inside that folder, you should place the folder maps and the folder sky textures. There will be also folder instructions, but there won't be this folder, because only I have this folder here. Anyways, when you go inside the instructions folder, you'll also see few images there and one folder and one PDF file. Uh, images just show the interface of Terrain Mixer, that is interface of Blender with the Terrain Mixer inside of it. Uh, this is the how uh, the latest uh, version of uh, the Terrain Mixer file looks like, uh, so it's much cleaner interface, uh, less uh, UI areas open inside of it, and that's all because of inside the terrain mixer which I will talk in a second and then you also have this uh, PDF folder as I mentioned uh, which contains um, very useful information uh, related to terrain mixer and uh, I suggest that you uh, go through it uh, because uh, I think 99% of the potential questions that you might have um, I have it answered inside of it so for example um, no, what does each uh, what does the what does each node group inside Terrain Mixer uh, do? So, for example, you would go here, working with node and node groups, article. There's a link to a video, and uh, just scroll. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, just one more thing. Uh, there's another useful folder uh, inside. Although you will find the same uh, content inside of this PDF, but um, there's this folder named how to bake. And inside of it, uh, you will find like image instructions on how to bake. All this will be updated in the upcoming version because uh, I'll introduce some changes to the workflow. But uh, now let's uh, go inside the blender and uh, let's see what's new and i assure you you will love it so if you have used the terrain mixer in the past you know that you would go to the node and adjust all the values here and now uh, we have moved all the major let's say all the major uh, controls uh, to the properties menu that you can see here so to explain how it works, first uh, let me show you uh, what values are being uh, ported to this, uh, have been ported to this properties menu. So we have the mixer node values, the main ones, these three, A, B, C. So this controls uh, the mix of all the height inputs, and we have four of them. A controls the mix of the input one and two. B controls the mix of the inputs three and four, and C controls all of them. So let me just show you this, but this time inside of the uh, new properties menu. So if I move this slider left and right, I am mixing the inputs one and two. You also see that the value is changing here, like this. If I would uh, do the same with the B, I would be mixing the values 3 and 4. 
Okay. And when I change the values of the C, I'm mixing all of them. So you can see how much faster this workflow is now. And uh, I'll also uh, explain what these other values do. Now, if we would want to uh, add more strength to one of the inputs, we could change its power. And you can see here this sliders, input one, power one, input two, power two, input three, power three, and input four, power four. So for example, if I wanna do something with the uh, input one, I will go here, go more to the left, and maybe lower down the power slider a bit, like so. Or add more power to it. Really cool. Now, uh, like in any of the Blender sliders and settings, you can always uh, set it to default value. Reset it to default value. Now let's see some other sliders. We have uh, rotation. So we can do something like this, which totally changes the length. And we can also scale the terrain, like so. Now you can create your own height maps uh, and import them through this, through these nodes. So these are the image nodes. Uh, you can you can create them inside terrain mixer, bake them. You can uh, use uh, any other software. I personally prefer prefer using Quad Spinner Gaia. Spandy. Um, actually, that was the software uh, that I used before I created Terrain Mixer, and I still use it because it is much more advanced solutions. It is a bit more pricey than Terrain Mixer, but uh, not expensive. The wonders that you can do with it, uh, you know, uh, if you're into creating terrains and you're doing it professionally, it's like really a bargain. Uh, so I suggest that you, you check Gaia uh, and, you know, make some height maps there, import them in Terrain Mixer and continue mixing. Uh, in the future, I plan to do some tutorials uh, about uh, creating really complex terrains with, you know, maybe trees, you know, and even caves and tunnels and that sort of things. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to show you this uh, uh, new properties menu, uh, which will make your life a lot easier. So stay tuned. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, write them below and I will answer as soon as I can. Take care.